This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is art attack. <laughs> And welcome to Art Attack. Now, this is the show that is going to give your eyeballs a very big shock. Because over the next seven weeks, we are going to go wild with art. Now, you don't have to be a great artist. We're just going to have fun being creative. But first, let me let you into a secret. I have got a big problem. I keep getting the urge to do this. Woo! Mm -hmm. Now, I call it plop. Art. Not only does it look good, it is brilliant to do. All you need is an egg. Now, what I've done here is I've chipped a hole about two centimetres across in the top of the egg using the handle of a spoon. You empty the contents out of your egg into a cup, use it for an omelette or something a little later on, and then into the empty eggshell, you pour paint. Now, you can experiment with the type of paint you use, or you can use ink. This is poster paint I'm using here, mixed with a little bit of water. In it goes. Mixed up. Now, as you can see, plop art can be a little bit messy, so please do it out in the garden, lay loads of newspaper down, put your plopping paper down, and then plops away! Has about two colours in one eggshell. Plops away! And when you've tried it once, you can't stop doing it. Plops away! And you know what I've always wanted to do? The ultimate plop. Pop art is tremendous fun. Do it outside and not inside, and make sure you do it on paper. The greatest pop artist I ever knew was a pigeon called Sydney. Hmm? Only kidding. Actually, his name is Gerald. Ah, oh, all fantastic cartoon characters there. And do you know what we're going to do? Throughout this series of Art Attack, we are going to start with a blank sheet of paper, and we are going to create our own original cartoon character. So, okay, where do you start? Well, the one thing all those cartoon characters had in common is they've all got great facial expressions. And you know, you don't have to be a great artist to create great facial expressions. All you need are two eyebrows, two eyes, and a mouth. Just keep it very simple and watch what you can do with a face just using these three things. Okay, well, let's, let's keep the eyebrows the same and the eyes. Let's just move the mouth. Look what happens. And give him a nice big grin. Suddenly, the whole face explodes into life. All right, well, let's keep that smile there. Nice big wide smile. And let's keep the eyes the same. And let's alter those eyebrows and see what happens there. Just bring them down a bit. Suddenly, a big cheesy grin turns into a menacing smile. 
Now, the idea is to just keep it really simple. Do you know who the best person is to teach you how to draw facial expressions? Yourself. All you need is your own face and a mirror, and it's a case of looking in the mirror and seeing what your facial features are doing. For instance, what about your eyebrows? Do they go up or down? Your eyes, wide or narrow? And your mouth, smiley or down in the dumps? And just keep looking in the mirror and drawing what you see. So let's try a few of these features then. What about sad? Well, what happens to my face when I'm sad? Well, the eyebrows, they go up in the middle. The eyes stay the same and the mouth down at each end. So let's draw that. The eyebrows up. There's the eyes. And there is one very sad mouth. Good one. Let's try another one. What about shock? <gasps> eyebrows shot up in an arc. So I'll do that. Eyes, very wide. And what about the mouth? Very wide. And there it is. Shock. And you just keep going, looking in the mirror and drawing what you could see. Keep practicing. Practice on other people. If you see someone on the bus, put them on the back of your bus ticket. Just keep practicing. And next time, we will design our own original cartoon character. You know, some people use the strangest things to create an art attack. Chainsaws are dangerous, so you probably haven't, but if you had, and you could, you wouldn't, would you? Glad we cleared that up. Have you ever noticed the way sometimes when you look at an object, parts of it are in light, where the light shines on it, and parts of it are in shadow or darkness, where there's no light shining on it at all? For instance, take a look at my face. Half of it's in darkness, and half of it is in light. Well, you can use this effect to create some great pictures. All you need is a photograph, and the idea is to try and look for those dark patches, or the shadowy patches on the photograph, and the light patches. And to help you do this, bring in a good old sheet of tracing paper. Now, you'll find that the light patches show through more easily when the tracing paper is on, as do the dark patches. And what you've got to do then is to go round them, just trace round them, map round them, looking for those patches. There's a light patch there around her teeth. And don't forget also to go round the outline of the head. And you'll find, when you've eventually finished, you'll have something that looks like that. Now, the next step is to take a dark crayon or felt tip pen and colour in those dark patches. There's one there, just right behind the eye. Then you take a light crayon or felt tip pen, colour in the light patches, and then all of the rest of the patches are coloured in 
with a medium crane or felt tip pen. Now by medium, I mean one that's not dark or one that's not light. And there it is. You have what I call a psychedelic negative. And the great thing is, is you can use any colour you like as long as one of them is dark, one of them is light, and one of them is medium. Looks a bit like a pop poster, really, doesn't it? Actually, you could try one of your favourite pop star, or even yourself. Mind you, I have to say, I've never actually seen anyone look like that. Have you? You could use cotton or wool, and you can do a drawing of anything. If I had some string, I could do a drawing of him. Need a lot of string, though. My name is George, and this is a face what I made, and it is a granddad. My name is Rebecca, and this is the punk that I made. I made his spiky hair so that he looked like that. My name is David, and I made a man, and I gave him a hat because I didn't like him being bald. Ah, that's a good art attack, and very easy to make. All you need is two sheets of card, can be any size you like, it can be this size, or it can even be this size. And on one of the sheets of card, you draw the front shape of a face, and on the other sheet of card, the side shape of a face, then you cut them out, bit of a trick, and then you cut a slot halfway up one of the heads and halfway down the other one, and then the tricky bit. Right, hang on for this. You slot them together. Oh, bit of a headache there. And then you can stick some accessories on. Let's see, put this on here. There. What do you think? Very cool. And then it's just a case of hanging him up. And here, there we go. Give him a bit of a spin. And there you have it. A slot head art attack. <laughs> If you'd like other facts on today's art attack, send for your artifacts to me, the head. P.O. Box 123, Southampton, S097HH. That's P.O. Box 123, Southampton, S097HH. Die! <clears throat> you know, I reckon you can create an art attack out of almost anything, even scrap paper. See you next week. <laughs>